<clears throat> this video is going to show you uh, several examples on how to use the valence bond model to represent bonding in a molecule. So basically, if you're being asked to explain bonding using the valence bond model, you're going to usually need to do three different things here. The first one is you need to know the types of orbitals that are being used by the atom to make the bonds between each atom with another atom. Remember that in the valence bond model, the orbitals can be either the regular type that we talked about in quantum mechanics, SPDF, or it could be a new type of orbitals we discuss, which are called hybrid orbitals, which is a mixture of the regular orbitals. So that's the first thing you need to represent. The second thing is you have to provide a rough sketch of the bonding and that really means drawing the orbitals of each of the atom and show how they overlap with orbitals from the other atom. Okay? And then the third thing you need to do is explain what type of bonding you have between the atoms, whether it's a sigma bond or a pi bond. Okay? So in the next series of slides I would please show you how to do this with a few different molecules. So before we actually work on an example, let me just explain how we would use the concept of valence bond model and hybrid orbitals in Chem 11. Because we're limited by not being able to do quantum mechanical calculations to predict what kind of hybrid orbitals we would use, we would have to incorporate the concept of Lewis structure and Vesper to help us figure out what hybrid orbitals we would use to represent the bonding in our molecules or ion. So the way you're going to do this is always following these steps. The first thing you're going to do if you're given a molecule or ion is to first draw the Lewis structure and then you're going to then use Vesper to predict what the electron geometry is of the molecule or the ion. Now notice I say electron geometry not molecular geometry. So in other words you're just trying to figure out how many pairs of electron is found around the um, inner atoms or central atom. Remember that you can have multiple central atoms. Now just remember the following rule of thumb. The central atom, if there's one or there's many of them, they tend to use hybrid orbitals for their bonding. And the terminal atoms, the ter atoms on the outside, tend to use regular orbitals unless otherwise indicated to you. And then lastly, once you figure out which atom should use hybrid orbital, then you just go ahead and use the electron geometry that you figure out in step two to determine the appropriate hybrid orbitals that you need to use. What we talked about in class is that if you have the following pairs of electrons, two, three, four, five, or six, then there's a certain hybrid orbital that's associated with the uh, pairs of electron. And of course the pairs of electron also indicate the electron geometry, so that's what I was saying in the previous slide, you want to first figure out electron geometry and then once you figure that out, you can then figure out what hybrid orbitals you need to use for the atoms that have that particular electron geometry. So this is kind of a refresher of what you need to do. If you have a linear electron geometry, you're going to use sp orbitals for the central atom. And if you have trigonal planar, it's going to be sp2. If it's tetrahedral, it's going to be sp3. Trigonal bipyramidal, it's going to be dsp3. And then octahedral is going to be d2sp3. So the first question we're going to do is uh, this question right here where you have to use the valence bond model to show the bonding in CH4 and H3 and H2O, three molecules. And again, what you have to remember is what this really means is you have to figure out three different things, as I mentioned at the beginning, which is what types of orbitals are being used for each atom in the bonding, and then draw a sketch of the orbitals, and then lastly, what are the bond types, sigma or pi. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do each of these molecules, but remember that the way we're going to do this is we're going to start with the lowest structure. So I'm just going to quickly draw the lowest structure of all these three molecules. This is not something very difficult. You should be able to do it by now. So if you draw the lowest structure for these three molecules, you'll find that they have the following structures with the lone pairs and the bonding pairs shown right there. Okay. Now remember that we don't necessarily care about the bonding or lone pairs, but what we want to know is how many total pairs of electrons are on central atom. In this case, we only have one central atom, and if you look at all three of them, they all have the same electron geometry, and that is tetrahedral. 
Now, the fact that they have tetrahedral geometry immediately uh, implies to you that there's a certain hybrid orbital that should be used to represent their bonding. And if you go back to this list, tetrahedral, it says sp3. So, in other words, for all these three molecules, you have to use sp3 for the central atom. Okay? And that means sp3, in this case, for carbon, or our central atom, in this case, for nitrogen, our central atom, and then, in this case, for oxygen, our central atom. Okay? What about the hydrogens? Well, remember that the hydrogens uh, are terminal atoms, and terminal atoms tend to just use regular orbitals. And the regular orbital for hydrogen that's being used for bonding is the 1s orbital, so we'll just use the s for our hydrogen in this case. Okay? You can say 1s, or you can say s, doesn't really matter. You're just going to draw basically a circle. Okay? Now we're going to go to the next slide and show how to draw the bonding. We now know the orbital, so then we just need to show the bonding. The first thing you need to do is just show a tetrahedral for the central atom. So let me just, just do this for CH4. So these are all sp3 orbitals. Okay? So you need to label them usually. And then, of course, the, there are four bonds in this case. So each of our oxygen comes in with a... 1s, which is the yellow one, so then I would label this as 1s. So that's how you want to do your sketch for the bonding in CH4. And lastly, to complete the answer, remember what you need to do is answer how many sigma and pi bonds you have. And remember, an easy way to do this is to just go ahead and look at the Lewis structure. And if you only have one bond for each bond, then there's only sigma bonds. So in this case, you have four sigma bonds in CH4. Okay? So this will be for CH4. Now I'm going to do the other two real quick. So you can see in both cases here, we have a tetrahedral hybrid orbital, in this case sp3, so you have a tetrahedral shape. In NH3, I'm going to have three bonds, which I illustrate over there. And in water, I'm going to have two bonds, so maybe I draw it this way and this way. Okay. Now remember that the remaining orbital is actually not empty in this case, but it's occupied. And what is it occupied with? It's occupied with lone pair electrons, right? So in an H3, I see that I have one lone pair. In H2, I have two lone pairs. So I'm going to go back and fill in those lone pairs. So you can put it like as dots here in an H3 and as dots in H2O. Okay, that would complete the picture. And then again, your VLO in this case is the 1S. And then your black is your sp3 hybrid orbitals. And then the last question you need to fill in to answer this is how many sigma and how many pi bonds you have. In this case, you have three sigma bonds and no pi bonds. And then for water, you're going to have just two sigma bonds. Okay? So that's a quick example of three molecules where you're just drawing hybrid orbitals for the representation and how to show the bonding, how to show the hybrid orbital, how to show the regular orbitals. Okay? In the next video, I'm going to show some more examples with molecules that have resonance, molecules that have more than one central atoms, as well as molecules that have pi bonding. So then you, you get to see exactly how to do all of those drawings.